Pray Halloween for the devil. Ends. On Halloween night in 2019, Jeremy Allen plays a prank on his neighbor and babysitter. 18-year-old Corey Cunningham by locking him in the attic and making fun of Michael Myers, who has been missing since his rampage a year earlier. Jeremy is accidentally knocked over the upstairs banister when Corey accidentally opens the locked door out of frustration. When Jeremy's parents get home, just in time, they see their son violently fall to his death on the floor. By 2022, Lori Strode and her granddaughter Allison have settled into a normal Hanfield home and are writing her memoir Stalkers, Saviors, and Sam Hain, which details how Michael's evil ruined Hanfield. Corey is now a pariah in the community and works for his father Ronald in an auto yard instead of attending college as he had planned. Allison is stopped by Officer Doug Mullaney on her way to work as a nurse at Hanfield Memorial Hospital. Mullaney is an ex-boyfriend who is still interested in Allison. Mullaney makes the comment that Allison's muffler is loose while attempting to flirt. Terry, Billy, Stacy, and Margo, all seniors at Haddonfield High School, insultingly harass Corey outside of a gas station. After Terry shoves Corey, Corey cuts his hand on the broken bottle glass. Lori steps in. By giving Corey a knife to cut the tires of the teenagers, Lori helps Corey become a friend. Lori brings Corey to Hanfield Memorial Hospital for treatment so that he can also meet Allison because she is aware that her granddaughter needs a date for a costume party. After Corey observes DR, Math is talking down to Allison, who is vying for a promotion. They have a bonding moment. Corey offers to replace Allison's exhaust. Corey is invited to the costume party by Allison. At a grocery store, Lori meets Frank, her former lover. Sandra, a woman, is furious and says that Lori provoked Michael Myers, the man who left Sandra's sister disabled, outside the store. Allison and Corey go to Lindsay Wallace's bar for the costume party. Corey finally begins to loosen up after drinking and dancing. But after having an uncomfortable encounter with Jeremy Allen's uptight mother, he returns to his shell. Before leaving on his own, Corey lets out his frustration by telling Allison that he isn't a project for her to fix. Corey is harassed on his way home by Terry and his three friends. Corey's glasses are crushed by Billy. Corey is thrown over a bridge by Terry and into a small camp of homeless people in the underpass below. Corey is dragged into the sewer by Michael Myers, where he has been living and killing more people for four years. After recognizing something sinister in Corey's eyes, Michael lets him go after beginning to strangle him. A wanderer demands that Corey go back into the sewer to retrieve Michael's mask after he realizes he survived his encounter with Hanfield's boogeyman. Corey kills the wanderer in self-defense after the vagabond pulls a knife on him. The following day, Corey visits Lori and Allison's house. When Lori notices that Corey now has the same eyes as Michael Myers, she feels uneasy. Allison receives an apology from Corey for his outburst the night before. After that, Corey takes Allison to the Allen house, which is now empty, and tells her about what happened that caused Jeremy to die. Lori goes to talk to his mother Joan because she is worried about Corey. Because Haddonfield required a new boogeyman following Lori's disappearance, Joan attributes the town's treatment of Corey to Lori. In a diner, Corey and Allison talk about the tragedies in their families. Together, Corey proposes burning Haddonfield down. In front of Corey, Officer Mullaney interrupts to openly flirt with Allison, who declines. When Mullaney begins to make fun of Corey, the situation briefly becomes heated. Corey takes Allison and his motorcycle home. Corey takes Mullaney, who had been following him in his car, to the underpass after dropping her off. Corey deceives Mullaney into going into the sewer, where he and Michael Myers kill Mullaney. Corey is disheveled when he gets to Allison's house. Corey is still taken upstairs by Allison for sex. Lori observes Allison and Corey's initial interaction from the outside, unaware that Michael Myers is secret house have a romantic relationship with him.